Eric Singleton Jr. has dropped deep to return this kick. And here comes Singleton. He's going to bend it to the left side, keep his balance, got a block. Singleton far side, 40, and out of bounds. Well, you know all about the sprint speed. You're going to have a lot of guys that are going to be moving pre-snap. Take a look here at the kick return. <laughs> the kicker's got to do something. Quick toss, Jamal Haynes left side. Five, and shoved out of bounds at the first down number by Joshua Pickett. It's a 10-yard run for Jamal Haynes. With just a quick toss, and again, here's some more shifts and some motioning that you got to get aligned to if you're Duke on defense. Rutherford in motion, they're going to throw back to him. He gets a block on the perimeter, picks up 10, maybe 11 on that play to the 39. Stenson the tackle for the Blue Devils. 55th career game tonight for Stenson. There's a throw on the perimeter. Fighting through that time, Singleton again. And he's to the 32, and the stack pushes him to the 30, and another Georgia Tech first down or close to it, Tom. Here he comes to go under center. And there's Pyron, he'll take the snap, and just straight ahead for the first down. Tight end. Duke bringing four. Here's Haynes King. Double clutches. Shoots it here to the near side. Jamal Haynes. Man, he got missed. Reroutes. Dives toward the 20. It'll be third down at about four for Georgia Tech. They've got to throw it on the perimeter here. They don't have enough body down there. Here's Haynes King. Back across the middle. It's caught in traffic. First and 10, Georgia Tech. What a catch in traffic by Eric Singleton Jr. against Bergeron. So first and ten for the Jackets. Red zone possession for Key's team on their first possession. And spinning is Rutherford on the sweep toward the seven. Second down and six. In the orbit is Chase Lane. Here goes Haynes King on the key at the five and digging for the end zone. And he'll be just short. Ozzy Nicholas, the linebacker. They've run the football down the middle of the field. Here's Haynes King trying to keep it. And things got muddied up pretty good by the Blue Devils. Well done defensively. Trey Freeman, who had the uh, game-clinching interception last Saturday to beat Carolina. This guy in a black shirt there. Yeah, he's going to come from the opposite side. He skips a couple of gaps to make the play along with Duke on defense. Jackets get big up front. Here's Haynes King or Pyron on the keep. But Tech Pyron drives into the end zone. Jackets are on the board with Pyron's sixth career rushing touchdown. And it's his fourth of the season. They love to bring him in. He's a big, strong runner. A little bit bigger than Haynes King. So the ball to the 41 after the penalty of 15 yards. First down. Thomas flipped out right around the 43-44 yard line. Clayton Powell Lee, one of Georgia Tech's tackle leaders a year ago, with 70 stops. Quick throw to the perimeter. This is Thomas, and he'll be pulled down. What a play. Ryland Godey's come in. Second down give, and this is Jamal Haynes. Flag. Nope, no flag on the play as Haynes breaks free to the far side into Duke territory. And number 11 is off to a blazing start and got a terrific block on the perimeter by Malik Rutherford for 39 yards. Well, you can just see the explosiveness is back. Really well done on the counter there. And then he bounces it to the perimeter, gets a great block from Singleton. A tight end to the left, three receivers to the right. The analytics for ESPN say go. Here's the quick shot. This is Singleton. He's got it. Breaks the 39 to the 38. Ozzie Nicholas, the linebacker. Big 45 in the white helmet. If Georgia Tech gets the third and long, you're going to see some of that tonight. Here's Haynes King. Juggles the snap. Throws the perimeter. Catch for Malik Rutherford. And nothing there because Joshua Pickett was right there. Where are they coming from? Where could we get overloaded? They throw it to the left side. And the play is made nicely. Out in space right there was Kevin O'Connor, the redshirt freshman. And now you got a long field behind you for Georgia Tech. You see the dossier of games still to come tonight. Miami Cal on the coast. Okay, next week's two ball games on ACC Network. First down give for Peyton Jones. Underneath targets open without question. 
So here's the third down shot caught. Bailey Stockton across midfield and out of bounds at the 49. Stockton's sixth catch of the year. Finally healthy. That's why the ground game's working a little bit better now. Hands came a shot caught right at the line to make. And that's the tight end. There's Haynes King on the keeper, juggled it briefly, and I don't think he got it. And look at this, we had Wesley Williams picking up Haynes King. Fourth and short, Haynes King back. And he's gonna get the shove, and I think he's got the first by a yard and then some. Pistol set. They move Godey out to the perimeter, they snuck it through traffic to Singleton. He got flipped out of bounds by Rivers. With the screen game. Four on the line for the Blue Devils for second down. Here's Haynes King stepping to his right, wants to cut it loose. Will back here near side Rutherford. Malik at the 15, inside the 10. It's first and goal, Georgia Tech. Stone makes the play that probably saves the touchdown. 24 yards, Luke. Yeah, Haynes King makes a great throw right here. And had he seen what was in front of him, he could have pump faked. I think he might have been able to run, maybe even for a touchdown, but great. So this will be right at about 23 yards, Burr's kick is good. That's Dow Bolin in motion. And Murphy going to hand to Thomas. And start Thomas's best run of the night across the 30, but stopped shy of the first down by a couple of yards at the 33. Jock has more not being available for the vast majority of the season. They're going to flip it here near South Brown, trying to get to the perimeter. Think it's going to depend on the measurement, and they did. They broke the 35, so it'll be a first down for the Blue Devils. And really make a name for himself. He became a dad last week, so he's balancing football and being a new dad, and the coaches are in awe of him. There's a throw to the perimeter, and the catch is made. That's Eli Pankole. Jerry Kill only coaches and recruits good football players and good people, so no surprise they've gotten here at Duke. There's Murphy trying to convert and got through traffic. Pankole the catch. Eli into Georgia Tech territory and the Blue Devils with some momentum there. Amari Harvey, quarterbacks maybe steal one in the throw game here in the first half. Yeah, there's no question right here. You look at the linebacker, that's Trenelius Tatum. He almost picks it up. Murphy in the pocket and he'll go down. And that's Vandenberg. Transferred after playing for Manny Diaz at Penn State, Luke's. Yeah, and you see him circle right there in the center of your screen, and then he loops around off of the inside stunt between the opposite tackle. Live, real time, see how people are leveraging it, how they coverage it. It's unbelievable to use in game. Let's see if Jamal Haynes can help his quarterback. Does with a gain of about four on first down. Second and six, and oh, what a play that is. Firing through. That's Ryan Smith for 40 in the black for the Blue Devils. This is just winning on quickness. Playing the outside, leveraging the ball back into the inside and making the This is where Duke likes to dial it up. There goes Jamal Haynes. Haynes King's going to keep it, try and slip through the cracks. He'll get to the 15. And the Jackets are three and out for the first time tonight on the Alex Howard tackle. Shanahan gets it away. He got knocked down on the play, no flag. And here's the Blue Devil return coming to the near side with Brown near midfield, and he'll be tackled there. Ball in midfield for Murphy. You had me at working on his PhD. And in the backfield, Thomas has nowhere to go. Vandenberg, who had the sack of Murphy to end the last possession. Brown and Thomas in the backfield. Murphy tries to flip it to Thomas. Vandenberg gives checks and will take him down. He wants to throw. He'll dump it to Thomas. First down, Duke. Inside the 40 at the 39. And a quick pass gets the Blue Devils five in the first down. With one on the clock, here's Murphy looping it for Hagans, and it is intercepted. This side he gives. He's he's matched up on Hagans. Happened before that picture. Jackets bringing the pressure. Sidearm throw coming here near side. Trying to get to the corner. Pankhole and the touchdown for the Blue Devils. And left and then just 
dumps it off to Panko with a trailing defender and man-to-man -man coverage. That's Rodney Shelley from his safety position. It's a mismatch of an outside wide receiver on an inside guy. And that called Bootsland. And the Jackets skip one on the ground, and Taylor going to field it. Across the 15 and down to the 19. Last night, Duke opened the practice session to the public last night. H. King has four receivers. Going to hand it to Ball Haynes, and he's going to run. 40 45, flipped over, and that's the final play of the half. Trains for that. He told me he felt pretty good about his team's performance, especially with Georgia Tech coming off a of bye. He felt like his team got their legs underneath them, and as we've all seen, Duke tends to perform better in the second half. And Peyton Jones trying to get him started right now. Down the far sideline, Jones with Amari Harvey shoving him out of bounds, but it's well into Georgia Tech territory. Blue Devil head coach Tom. There's no question about it. This is a way to come out of the game. Maintain the momentum that you took into the locker room. And Peyton Jones, the true sophomore. Murphy wants to throw again. Shoots it here to the near side. Panko the catch. And slung out of bounds. Here's Murphy, long throw, crossing route. That's Jordan Moore, and he's tackled at the 25. And on fourth down, so congratulations to the Blazers. Georgia Tech's first possession starts off the eight-yard line. Thank for making that happen. Here's Haynes King, fakes the toss, keeps it going up the field, and we see the quarterback stretch across the 25 for a first down. The fake toss, now you've got the quarterback that's got the opportunity. Because you really leave a defender, number 99 in that case, unblocked, Aaron Hall. Six. Hand to Jamal Haynes. Look at the cut through the hole, flips across the 30. Snap to Haynes King, he'll flow it to the far side. Malik Rutherford trying to turn the corner, a stiff arm, and pulled out of bounds. Going to hand it to Singleton. He'll turn up field. First down and pull down. There's a throw. This is Isaiah Canyon to catch. And Canyon will dive out to the 45. And he's had an impact here tonight. Blue Devils from their eight. And Star Thomas tries to get started. And Sylvain Young Chewin. The fifth-year senior from Belgium. Well, he gets it because the big fella that we just talked about in 99, he's occupying two Duke blockers and allows the tacklers to get to the ball carrier. Here's another give on second down. This is Thomas trying to get to the perimeter. Steps out of two tackles. Now has a first down and is finally nudged out of bounds by Omar Daniels. But Really nice run by Star Thomas here. Gets through the hole and is able to bounce it to the perimeter. But how about the block down the road from Jordan Moore? Number Murphy tries to cut it loose and catch Panko and immediately knocked down. Two by two look for Murphy here. Quick throw, down Mullen, first down Blue Devils. Breaking through, this is Jones, and Peyton Jones. Where Daniels makes the stop, Tom. Terrific run pass mix here by the Blue Devils. Yeah, Taj Butler just completely out of his gap. And I think some of the hurry up there exposed them. And another driving pass caught by Javon Harvey. Are gearing up offensively for Jonathan Brewer, their coordinator. And here's Peyton Jones on the run inside the 20 and taken down around the 18-yard line. Tight end, three receivers. Brown in motion, they'll give it to him on the sweep. Tries to cut it back inside, he'll turn the corner and be pulled out of bounds. They'll have to measure where he goes out. If he hit the nine, I think he got the first down. Play clock down to the final seconds. Murphy to Thomas who slips down and Duke doesn't get it. Georgia Tech comes up huge after Star Thomas loses his footing. 
of Georgia Tech starting off another series inside their own 10. Fourth time tonight, and look at the burst for Jamal Haynes. He'll sidestep out toward the 17. Stenson, Blue Devils from their 35. Still a 10-7 game with three minutes of change to go in the third. Jacket pressure, Murphy, a blind throw, and it's caught. On the streak is Higgins, and Samir Higgins is going to give Duke the lead. 65 yards, Malik Murphy to Philadelphia's Samir Higgins. Tom, it looked like the Jackets brought one more, and Duke found the open guy. Well, they did. The Jackets ended up bringing an A-gap blitz between the center and the guard and put two defenders in there and four. And listen, they finished games. They deserve credit. End over end kick. And the return for Taylor. Trying to get here to the near side and only to the 15. The regular season total. Started two of two since they're two of nine. Here's Haynes King up in the pocket and he'll be taken down for a yard loss because big 99 is Aaron Hall. Snap on second 11 for Haynes King. Crossing around Eric Singleton with Trey Freeman in tow. He'll get out of bounds. It's a Georgia Tech first down as Singleton gets to the 30 yard line. Come on now. It's unbelievable. He, he, he looks like an erector set. <laughs> here's, here's Haynes King. And he'll dump it to the tight end. That's Goaty. And Ryland Goaty will have Georgia Tech within a couple yards. And there's for. Probably got a bionic leg. Yeah. Straight ahead. Chad Alexander, who had quite a debut in Ireland in the fourth quarter this year. Just two field goals for those six points. And on first down, Chad Alexander trying to turn the corner. And he does to the 39 of Duke, Dana. Georgia Tech on their heels here. They need to get a touchdown on this drive to Georgia Tech. And King held on to it too long. Alexander got hit right on the number by Freeman. So it'll be third down and five. This ball doesn't come dislodged on the mesh point right here because it looks like a pull it late. Yep. And now a quick throw to the perimeter. Boy, and Alexander got level, period. I like this. Brent Key told us he was going to do this. King looks, shoots it, caught Rutherford first down. As a red zone offense in this conference. Jamal Haynes in the backfield. Quick hitter for Haynes. Made a man miss at the 25. Brought down at the 20, and that's another Georgia Tech first down. So first and ten, Georgia Tech red zone possession for the Jackets who trail four. Two by two look. Rutherford in traffic, first through at the ten, first and goal at the nine. Singleton in motion. He'll get it on the comeback here to the near side at the five. And Eric to the three. Pulled down by Kendall Johnson. Here's Haynes King on the roll. He'll turn it upfield and gets nothing. It'll be third and goal at the three. Here to the near side. Third goal. Snap to King. Blitz coming. Loops it to the far side. Caught. Jamal Haynes. Touchdown. Fourth. Yes, they are. Well executed design and play, and it's really set up by the release of the tight end, the offensive coordinator of Georgia Tech. That guy's a ball drawing joker, isn't he? Yep. Star Thomas ran through one, won't get away from the second. So second down and three after the penalty on the Blue Devils. And here's Jamal Haynes on a little cutback that gets the first down and to the Georgia Tech 47 yard line. Haynes now. Another give, and this is Haynes trying to get to the perimeter, and Trey Freeman not having any of that. And here's Haynes King to throw near side. That's Malik Rutherford, and he got pulled out of bounds by Stone at the 48. First down and 10 at the 33. Chad Alexander the carry. Alexander the 20. Inside the 15, another first down for Georgia Tech around the 11. Front key football, former offensive lineman leaning with his big fellas here in the fourth quarter. And Alexander, who to the top of your screen. And here is Jamal Haynes, our 
Singleton. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. How about that? Tom. Talk about zero to 60. And Eric Singleton finds the end zone. Wow. Murphy at quarterback. He's thrown for 170 on 15 completions tonight. There's Dow Bowling, the tight end. He'll get a first down. It does not exist to them. That's how they've gotten to this point. Let's see what they can come up with some magic here. Oh, they gambled on the give, and Brown made the catch. Amari Harvey. He might have had some more if he'd not lost his footing. Yep. Blue Devils on the hop here. Second down and three. Star Thomas a first down. He got to midfield. And very quickly after three snaps, Dukes in Georgia Tech territory. Schools with all three timeouts. Murphy wants to take the shot for Jordan Moore. And is that going to be ruled a catch? It is at the 32 yard line. The review. So Jerry Magalanes tells us about it. Holy smokes. Mm. I think it's a catch. First look might be the best catch I've seen today. We return to Atlanta in a moment. Jamal Haynes working on 119 yards of rushing. Going to add to it right here. Slides across the 30. On first down with under four to go. Chase Lane in orbit. They're going to hand it to Jamal Haynes. And he will roll to the 35. NC State, you've got North Carolina, you've got Wake Forest, and a lot of families in western North Carolina. Here is Zach Pyron diving for another Georgia Tech first down. He's got a two-yard plunge tonight on a touch. Still feels like it's just getting started. Here's Alexander banging away. Look at this run. Chad Alexander, and he's got a first down. Jamal Haynes has come back in the ball game. There's Singleton in motion. They're going to hand it to Eric around on the sweep, and he will come to a stop at the 48, and it'll be fourth down from there. The road teams may be as successful as we've seen today in a conference slate. Here's a snap from Freer and Shanahan. Hit a knuckleball dead at Quay Brown, and he will run to the 39 and be pushed back. Georgia Tech's only got three guys on the line, and they play in the outfield. Murphy intercepted. Amari Harvey will run out of bounds with 11 seconds left. He had three a year ago. And that will do that. And one touch of the knee. And Brent Key's team's going to go to four and two. Manny Diaz's squad. Valiant fight tonight, Tom, but they'll fall for the first time. And Georgia Tech wins the 91st meeting with Duke.